feeling like I want to craft fall and autumn decorations. I don't have very many um, fall, autumn, no October, November-ish uh, decorations here in the house. And so that was something last year that I said I definitely wanted to do this year. And so I know of some adorable, easy DIY, crafting on a budget, decorating ideas, or decor ideas, I guess you could say, that I wanted to bring to you because I was excited to see them, I was excited to do them, and I think you're gonna love them. So as we all know, you know, Halloween is coming, it's October, November, actually it's September right now. And so I'm gonna get going a little bit early on this, but these cool little trick-or-treat buckets come out. They're 99 cents or 88 cents at Walmart this time of year. And there are some adorable things that you can do with these. A dollar pumpkin and the things you can do with them. And I'm gonna show you what you can do with them and I guarantee you're gonna love these ideas. The things you're gonna need for this project. You're definitely gonna need one of these, two of these, or three of these. I got a whole bunch of these because I'm gonna make a set of three. So you're gonna need these plastic dollar pumpkins. You're gonna need some trash bags, plastic grocery bags. You're gonna need some rocks. Um, I have these rocks on the side of my house because you wanna weigh down the pumpkins so it doesn't blow over because these are fairly light and if you're gonna put them outside, you don't want them blown away. Um, you're gonna need some duct tape, either white, black, whatever you have. You're gonna need some craft designer cord, which is always fun to work with. You're gonna need some twigs or branches or something from a tree or bushes that you have lying around the house because this is gonna be the stem. And you need some burlap and you can use any color burlap you want. I'm gonna go with the traditional brown right now. And then um, I got another color burlap for the flower that's on the front of the pumpkin. So that's what you need to do this project. Uh, a hot glue gun and some scissors as well. And so that's about all you need. So let's get started. I'll show you what we do and you're gonna just think this idea is fantastic. Alrighty, so go ahead and take the pumpkin and line the bottom with your trash bags. Um, we're gonna put rocks in after, but I just do that so the rocks aren't wiggling around down there and it kind of stops them from moving. And once you've lined the bottom of the pumpkin, go ahead and put your rocks in. And I think I have a little assistant over here who wants to help me put rocks in the pumpkin. Do you wanna help me? Yeah. Okay. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, get the rocks. Good job. Okay, so now that we've put the rocks in the pumpkin, we're gonna go ahead and fill the pumpkin with the rest of your grocery bags and you want enough to have it coming up out of the pumpkin a little bit. So Allie is going to help me do that, my little assistant. Good job. Stuff them in there. one. Good job. Thank you for your help, Ellie. You're welcome. Okay, so now what we're going to do, now you've got it stuffed, go ahead and cut your handle off um, because we definitely don't need the handle. And instead of throwing it away, I'm just going to stick it in the bucket because it's right here. Why not? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our duct tape and we are going to put duct tape across the top to keep the bags in. Sorry for the back noise you hear. We are having some yard work done 
in the backyard and yeah I guess today probably wasn't the best day to make a video but I kind of needed to okay so we've got our duct tape put on we've sealed the top of our pumpkin and now what we're gonna do is you are going to go ahead and um, spray paint your pumpkin. You can spray paint it any neutral color you want. You can spray paint it, you know, either, I would say cream, beige, white, or black. And I actually don't have any cream or white right now. I have um, a lot of black. Okay, so I've spray painted the pumpkin uh, with the duct tape on it and it's completely black. And so now what you wanna do is I took the two and a half inch wide burlap and you can cut your own if you have, you know, a big uh, piece by the yard of burlap, cut it by two and a half by 12 inch strips because that's about what you're gonna need and you're gonna need anywhere from 12 to 15 of them. And so um, I'd start off with 12 so you don't cut too much and then if you need extra, you know, cut your extra. Then I went ahead and got started a little bit on this. So I'll show you what we're gonna do with the burlap now. So I started a little bit and you're just gonna put your strips on, hot glue them on and lay them flat down onto your pumpkin. And you're gonna just keep doing it, meeting them at the top and make sure that you're overlapping just enough to cover it. And you wanna pull it kinda of tight because you don't want your edges buckling. And so I suggest hot gluing it at the top. And so I'm just gonna put one line of hot glue across it. And then I'm gonna put it right here on the top. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna kinda do it as flat as I can and pull it tight. And yeah, the bottom is orange, but it's not gonna show. I didn't feel like flipping it over. And do another line and make sure you get that burlap good and tight on there. And then just, there you go. And this is going to be our burlap pumpkin. So do that all the way around the pumpkin. Alrighty, so I am done wrapping the pumpkin in burlap and it already looks super adorable. And the only other thing I did was I cut a small square of burlap on the bottom just so the circle wouldn't show at the bottom just to finish it off. And so, yeah, we're done uh, with that part. So now what comes is your twigs and um, they're just gonna go right on top of your burlap pumpkin. And what I did was um, I bought one of the twig wreaths at Walmart for, I think it was $2.37 and it was probably a 12 to 15 inch twig wreath. And um, I went ahead and cut it apart because this time of year and Christmas, I do use quite a bit of these twigs and I didn't want to just completely go outside and maul my trees and bushes. So I bought a wreath just to disassemble it. And what I do is when I cut it up into the sizes, I put a rubber band on the end of it and I glue all the twigs together and just use the rubber band to hold it. And then I cut the rubber band off after so it doesn't show. And so that's what we will do now. 
Okay, and see now all my twigs are stuck together and the rubber band is gone. So now we're just gonna go and we're gonna hot glue this onto the top of our burlap pumpkin. And it is probably gonna need a good amount of hot glue. So maybe have a glue stick or two ready. Because you want all the twigs at the bottom to go into that. So there we have a big pile of glue. And I am going to take my twigs and I am just going to stick them in there. And I am going to let those dry. And there are spots where there are no Okay, so that is just about dry. And so now what I'm gonna do is we are going to take our crafting cord and we are going to wrap it, let's see, around the base of these twigs. And I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm not gonna cut it because I hate wasting this stuff but we're just going to keep going around in a circle like a donut until all my burlap lines are covered up. And that's what this is going to do is it's just going to cover up all your burlap ends. Okay, there we go. So how stinking cute that is. So that's what the top should look like. Um, I'm going to add a flower to it and that's going to be about it. Okay, so I'm going to take my cream colored burlap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a flower out of it and I'm going to take the end of it and I'm just going to kind of bend it in at an angle and I'm going to keep bending it and grab it, fold it in an angle and grab it to make ourselves a burlap flower. And just do that until you've made it as big as you want your flower to be. And you might need to stop every so often and put a dot of glue in there to hold your flower together in all of your creases so it doesn't come apart. Alrighty, so we've got somewhat of a burlap flower there. So you can go ahead and put that somewhere on your pumpkin on the side. Now that the flower is on good, um, I did a little bit of prepping before and I took my crafting cord and I kind of wrapped it in a donut and glued it. And this is going to be the center of our flower. So I'm going to put some hot glue on there and I am going to stick this in the center of the flower. Oh my God, isn't that just stinking adorable? So there is our burlap shabby chic pumpkin. I love this. I am in love with these. I think I'm gonna do a cream one with like the brown 
as the flower. Burlap can get a little bit expensive and Costco sells these 50 yard uh, designer ribbons and they have a beige one that is similar to burlap. These 50 yards of ribbon at Costco and Sam's Club are $6.99 to $9.99. There is not one that is over $9.99. So $10 for 50 yards of wired ribbon is an amazing price. And this beige would be just as cute as the burlap as an alternative. So I say go make yourself a set of these because they're very inexpensive and fun to make and they come out adorable. And I cannot wait to have all three of these done for this fall and autumn. I hope you all like this video today. I think that this was definitely as crafty on a budget as you can get with our dollar pumpkin, our recycled trash bags and twigs and rope and burlap. I have tons of fall crafting on a budget projects that I cannot wait to bring to you all. So stay tuned for more videos. Like this video if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you all have a great day and happy crafting on a budget. Until next time, bye for now. Everybody.